Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm really scared. What I did was I was like, oh, you hate him, don't you? And then I took the knife instead, so she like pried open the desk drawer. And now somebody's moving in the darkness. And there's scary music and a chuckle and an amused whisper. <laughs> the creature. I spy with my little eye. Her brain fired several commands all at once. Run, duck, hide. But her body was paralyzed by fear. Warmth, warm breath tickled her nape. She felt a hand reached out for her neck. She turned and there was no one there. Okay, so she's scrambling. Okay, she expected the door to be locked. She was expecting a hand to be grinning. Oh god. Little thief. She was so sure that the words almost materialized. Nothing came. The room was dead. What is happening? I'm so terrified. She urged herself to move. There was no time to linger. All right, let's get away from this room. All right. There were a few more entries if you said that um, you hated him. It basically talked about there was like an acolyte named Alex that he had a crush on who was nice and called him brother. And he doesn't want to live anymore. And Alex was an accident. Um, let's see if there are any more new ones. No. Oh my gosh, so scary. What crazy pills are happening in this game? So I was just messing with different choices and I was like, do it for me. And she's like, please don't make me kill anyone again. And then I said, yes, she is a monster. And she's like, I don't want to. I'm like, ah, oh, you've done it before. What's a little more blood to you? It was an accident. Her face was so scary. Oh my gosh. To fulfill your goal, it's necessary to crush things along the way. You look like a crazy person. They don't matter. It's just you and I forever, darling. Trust no one. What? Love no one but me. The rest of the world can crumble to dust. You've thought about punishing him too, haven't you? What? No. How dare he put you on the sidelines? Are you not good enough to love? Am I not fetching enough? <laughs> Am I not pretty enough? Why didn't you feed on me instead? No. It bothers you, doesn't it? How could you want Catherine, not me? Ooh, green-eyed. We got jealousy going on. I'm better than her. She doesn't understand you the way I do. You're the only one I've wanted this much. Why won't you desire me? Everyone does. Why not you? Stop. Just when my heart turns to Catherine, you take her away? Ooh, she's getting mad. You took her heart and Catherine's? She hates him. You shouldn't be allowed to exist. The very thought of him confuses you. They're the forbidden fruit you crave so dearly. You look like a psychopath, but that's okay. Mother keeps you clean. If you kill the dirty man, then you'll stay pure. You don't have to be confused. Convince her. Don't you see this is the right thing to do? Yes, my darling, it is. You've read his journal. He's tired. We're doing him a favor. But it shouldn't be up to me to decide. It's not how it's supposed to. Believe in me. Mother knows what's best for you. Do you believe that? Yes, mother. <laughs> oh my gosh, guilting. Guilting, guilting. Oh, she called her a degenerate. She grabbed her head and scratched vigorously. I don't understand anymore. I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't want to tell her to cry. Ugh, stop. You're not amusing me. Do you want my memory to stay? Oh my gosh. I'm not leaving her. Do you love me? Then do as I say and kill him. She began to giggle. She licked her lips in delight. Yes, kill him. That's all he deserves for being filthy. I'm a little monster too, aren't I? But mother kept me clean. She feeds me and loves me and kisses me. I like to cut his pretty neck open, mother. What? Crazy, gross things happening. Now she thinks she's a monster. Great. I feel terrible. Mother keeps me. Mother, can I please play with him? Pretty please. I want to do naughty things to him. What? What? You hate him. You love him. I'll kill him, mother. For all his sins. Uh... For a moment, Rosa was shocked by the gravity of her own words, but Mother's voice came to soothe her. That's my darling girl. Make sure you make him suffer as long as possible. All the pain in the world wouldn't be enough to punish him for the damage he's caused. Regardless of who he was, whether he was a saint or a devil, killing him was the right thing to do. Yes, Mommy dear. I will follow everything you say. But I get to have fun too, right? Rosa lit arrows, bathing her face... Oh, God. This is going to be really dubious consent. Eros. 
Oh god, and she has a gigantic carving knife. It was almost as long as her forearm. She's whistling a lullaby and asking him to dream of her. Oh, don't like it. Let me deliver your atonement. And she has her tongue sticking out. Like, are we in an alternate universe? The taste of honey. Oh my gosh, this is like a totally different ending. Ah, oh, what in me is dark. No light, but rather darkness visible. Oh god. But that is not me. What is in me is not me. Fought with it, lived with it, and survived. We become what we subdue. If that is true, I was never myself. This is what he was talking about. He doesn't think he's a monster. Then what are you? Tired. I'm somewhat irritable. That too. I somehow prefer this side of you. It makes me wonder why I'm so stern with you. Why I care so much for your well-being. <laughs> why did I even offer you to stay with me? I do not know. You're still so generous, even if you are like this. I give because I can take. Once upon a time there lives a man, he lived, who lost his heart, so he ate others. Oh, it's scary. He who makes a beast of himself rids of the pain of being a man. I didn't even press anything, it just went. Then take mine. You can have my heart. Do you love me? I think you do. Do you know how long I've traveled to find you? How far I've searched? And now you're here, finally. My heart yearns for you, Gian. I love you. Stop. Nectar flows from the spring of the rose? What? In eminence, an obstacle find none. Of membrane, joint, or limb, exclusive bars? What does that even mean? Touch me, Gian. My body wants you. What is happening? My eyes fly open from the groggy mist of confusion. My body is bound in a force that imprisoned my limbs. Chains. The smell of your skin saturates my nose. Sweat. My whole body is tense and there's flesh in the vagina petal thing. You walk up to me. You put your finger on my lips and trace it down my neck. Goosebumps break on my skin. You are beautiful. I have noticed before. I knew you were before you even did. But you were pure. Pure. The taste of your love was unripe fruit. Instead, I thought of you as something I'd like to protect. Why is that? Your hair flows out like a river as it brushes against my skin. You reach your hand to me and my stomach curls. There is a tainted power radiating from you that makes me gag. Like sugar dissolved in water. Oh, jeez, I thought I'd forgotten this feeling. I'm afraid. You move closer to me. Everything in dreams is slower. They're kissing and it tastes like honey. There's more spit and he feels weaker. It's a trap. Rosa, what are you doing? Stop this. You giggle. No. You open your mouth and kiss me again. My energy drains from me. I pull my face away. Oh, no, no, no. And yet you want me. Your body agrees. Oh, no, this is bad. You want to protect me. You treat me differently. I've always kept my distance from you. You were always hovering at the edge of my vision. Air is heavy with magic. I will myself to move, but my mind is torn to pieces by the spell. Imaginary hands touch my body and pinch at my flesh. They pull me down and hold me in place. Oh, this is scary. He has to escape. There's a prison. Is this what it feels like? It's being helpless. Have you forgotten what it's like to be the victim? To be weak. Oh, hello. Now it looks more like Rosa. Your face begins to change. You are Rosa. You're Catherine. You're Marcus. You're Diomedes. You're Psyche. Your hair begins to snap and distort. The skin... Ooh, yep, monster. That's what you are? Your glistening heart pumps in your chest. Another face grins as its eyes focus on me. I'm not afraid of it. It's merely a mirror. I gasp and struggle, but your hands clamp around my neck. One of your tongues licks at the side of my belly. Ew, sampling it. You're nothing but a parasite, you see. 
The other face contorts into a grin. How did you ever think you were powerful? <laughs> Look at you squirm. You're an insect. It's time for me to swat you. To make you pay for all you've done. Who are you really, Rosa? You smile at my helplessness? The smile breaks your cheek and splits your face in two. Your mouth reveals a gaping hole. <laughs> oh, this is nightmare fuel. Um. She hates him. You won't even look at me. Do I have your attention now? Well, it's too late. You had your chance. Now it's my turn to beat on you. Like Mother said, this is a fitting end for your crimes. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. She's gonna eat him. Oh, I forgive you. Even if Mother can't. I love you that much. What? I do, don't you believe me? Look at you, fighting me so hard. If you just relax, it'll all be over soon. My teeth grit with anger. Oh my gosh. Too many times I've heard the same revolting words, all convincing me to accept my fate lying down, eyes closed. It will be over soon. Anger rips apart my chest. Open your mouth, smile for me. Silence. And after all of that, they have to they have the gall to tell me what I'm supposed to feel. Little boys aren't supposed to cry. Why do you refuse a lady? Doesn't it feel good? Ew, ew, ew. I feel bad. I will not be anyone's toy ever again. I will not be a piece of meat. That... He said that earlier in something. Ooh, there's... A cage and he made it splinter. You'll never forgive her. The creature doesn't stop. It continues to feed on my life. Ew, it drools over me with ecstasy. It is never, ever gentle. Ooh. Mine, you're mine. I struggle out of the creature's grip. I can feel my body weak and intense at the same time. I concentrate on breaking the spell that holds me in place, but it's hard to escape. Oh gosh, you're gonna die. Perhaps he should stop struggling. Let the monster take him. You poor thing. The momentary lapse on the creature's hold lets loose a part of my mind. I gather all my remaining strengths and push back at the crack I made a while ago. The spell shatters and I break free. I do not give the creature a chance to think. I jam my hand into its chest. Momentarily winded and stunned, I hit it again. It falls to its knees. The spell in me weakens. I feel power returning to my body. Oh god, the creature's laughing. I'm not going to die here. I've sacrificed far too much to perish. The creature's laughter jeers at me. For what? I grasp its neck and watch it choke. Oh, he likes control. I am not to be mocked, you filthy thing. You have had a rough life, Guillaume. So is Rosa. You two should help each other, but... I have played this game for centuries, and I will not be beaten at my own device. Then... You enjoyed it too, didn't you? Uh-oh. It snaps his- He snapped its neck? I love you. My dream gone bad is the end. <laughs> well, the achievement. Gam woke up from the dream, weak and shaking. He stood up from the bed, his vision floundered. He fell onto the floor, losing balance from the sudden frailty of his legs. The churning in his stomach wouldn't go away. Every breath was shallow and tasted like sick. Um, okay, so he's not gonna throw up. To be degraded in this pathetic state was unbearable. He tried to rein it in. He didn't know how long he laid there in the dark, but soon his strength came back to him. He staggered his way to the room. He got fresh clothes. The old dagger glinted at him with malice. It reminded him of his anger, forged and sharpened over the years. His hatred was still dis was distilled in this blade. He gripped the dagger's hilt until red welts formed across his hands. He was bound by purpose and rage. He could hear her calling to him. Play with me again, please. You know where to find me. Always grinding his teeth. He thinks that she'll pay for this. Okay, there are creepy voices in the background. His vision doubled. He'll be walking on the floor one minute, then slipping the next. You're drugged up, man. Giam held onto the wall. The spell was still on him. He kept biting himself to stay awake. Oh, jeez. His attacker must know this. So, Rosa was a witch. How did he not notice? 
Um, he would just have to deal with her tonight, and he would pack his bags and leave for Asia. Yam smiled despite his nausea. Just you wait, my dear. I'll pay you back. Oh, he went into Catherine's room. There's a light on. A blood-red candle was lit. You know, the air was heavy with the salty musk of sex, and his vision began to flounder once again. Oh, dear. What's happening? Someone was on the bed. He salivated. A final soft squeal came, and the figure rose from the bed into the light of the candle. It's called Pat the Bunny? <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that even mean is the achievement? Hi, Gilly. Thanks for waiting for me to finish. Gross. Um... Thank you. You are my biggest frustration. Years, Gian. Years! I held myself back, fighting my own nature. For what? I don't even know anymore. Um, Rose? What do you want? Retribution. But not before I get to play around. Mother allowed me just this once. A reward for being a good girl. Oh, jeez. He's got... He's like, release me from this spell now. I'm warning you. That's adorable. Oh, jeez. Something sharp is in her hands, too. He felt like a child now. Do you really want to fight me, Gian? I know how to kill you. A strike to the heart. A wound that will never heal. She was taunting him. And this spell. <laughs> I made this spell especially for you. Your own power of emitting desire is used against you. It makes my spell more powerful while you become weaker. You must admit, it is impressive. I'm more powerful than you, Gian. Ew. Gian was choking on his own spit. The liquid in his mouth seemed to drown him. What does it feel like being seduced against your own will? Uh-oh. Not good. Bad news bears. She stepped closer to him, so close that her bosom rubbed on his arm. Nope. He is not loving it. <laughs> she ran her hands over his chest. She's his judge? She thinks that she's clean and pure because of mother. I am attached to her teeth and sucking at her love way after she died. Isn't it wonderful? You, on the other hand, you, you're vile, repugnant, filthy. Ew, she licked the sweat off of his neck. I don't like how close you are. We've never been this close before. Her lips were wet and plump like apples. His mind was torn. A part of him wanted to kiss her. Um, and another part does not want to do that. <laughs> oh, so awkward. I've been so good all these years, I didn't even feed once. And you just eat and eat and eat to your little heart's content. Where's your discretion, you pig? You even stole away Catherine's love before I got a taste. It's not fair. I don't know what you're talking about. Rosa giggled. Don't play dumb with me. I'm the only one who understands your nature. You're two of a kind. Uh-oh. He's like, I've done nothing to you. Nope. Nope. I'll get jealous that you're feeding. So I can't let you go. This is bad. Oh, gross. He'll be her first and last feeding. He's laughing at her. He's calling her pathetic. With these words, the spell started to waver. At least I have the decency to own my curse and not hide under self-righteous proclamations. I get to enjoy the scraps of our despicable lives. And you? How does it taste living under your mother's rotting love? You're probably tired of it by now, aren't you? Mommy's love doesn't taste so good after decades of sucking on it. Yup. 
The spell was a charm to entice and seduce. It was linked directly to the caster. He could distract her, the charm would weaken. Ooh, okay, he's getting feeling back in his fingers. You're just a leech, feeding off an ancient, decomposing love. It's no wonder you're insane. Rosa pushed him. Oops. Um... Girl going crazy. Yam isn't even, like, fighting and he's like, it's... I'm dead. So she's trying to kill him now. That's what you get for trying to talk about Nana. I'll make you pay for your words. I'll take it all. Your love will fill me up, but mother's love is best. And then he feels cold and laughs. Take my body. Make yourself feel good. Oh, jeez. It had been a while since he had been used like this. He thought he'd been smarter. Do don't even have to kill me soon. He's trying to bargain with her and be like her slave instead. You're just like them, like everyone else. Go on, why did you stop? His deranged eyes stared at Rosa. Pain sifted through the cracks. It is most humbling to be reminded of my real purpose, Rosa. Use me. Use me for your pleasure, your vengeance, or your justice. Then throw me away. In the end, we are all just using each other. Love. It doesn't exist. It's just fear wrapped in a pretty package. Only desire is real? <gasps> That's so sad. I don't remember any creature birthing you, do you? What? And that's upsetting her, but why would you remember your birth anyway? It's not like I remember mine. Well, you wouldn't remember being born. But he's saying, like, how much of your mother do you know? I don't remember any creature birthing me, do you? Shut up. You must admit the possibility that this mother you speak of was simply a stranger who took you in because of our curse. Oh my gosh. That would be awful. I am her vessel. She lives through me. That is messed up. Why would any child who left her kid want her to be a murderer? Yep, good question. Yep. Her mother's always right. Avenging her. Why don't you ask your mother why you're here? Maybe she's just enjoying the show. Ooh, fourth wall. Because <laughs> I'm watching, I guess. Oh, she's having a total breakdown. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Rosa's eyes lost. She struggled to listen to Mother's Mother. voice. Should I really be doing this? Mm, yes. Don't let him fool you. Go ahead. Why? Um, to get revenge. He's a monster and he hurt Catherine. Oh, no. She's saying that she shouldn't murder him because she's like, why would you want me to do it? Should I be the one to kill him? Because you're the only one who can. You've seen his face. You could end it. Can't somebody else do it? Mom, I, I don't want to be a murderer. Please. I won't make her kill him. Mother, please tell me what to do. Oh man, I can't even say anything. Do you love me, Mother? Of course I love you. He's a bad man. Killing somebody would make me worse. Um, maybe. Do you think it's fun to be like this? Tell me why. Wait a second, I can tell the truth? Mother laughed in Rose's head. Because I wanted to see a little blood. I find it entertaining. Oh my gosh. That's awful. You're nothing to me. <gasps> what? 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 Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You're nothing to me but a plaything. I don't love you. I just want you to follow my orders. That's so bad. That is so bad. On so many levels. So many levels. Say something. I loved you and you were always so cruel to me. I wasn't always cruel. I just called you a monster at the very end. Oh my gosh. And she endured everything. She wanted to prove that that meant that she loved her. Nobody told her that was a lie. This is so sad. She kept her hands on her ears. Mother, did you say something? I didn't hear you. Uh oh, now she's trying to come back. Please don't be angry. Nothing without you. Don't worry about it. You're not alone. 
Guillaume is waking up. The spell is losing effect. He crawled to where she had dropped the knife. Ooh, and he's reaching out for it. You're letting him get away. She's going to get him. Uh-oh. She's just so happy to hear her mom. <laughs> she ended up killing him. Oh, jeez. She's so happy I'm back. This is so depressing. Guillaume says he's been waiting for this. It pierced his heart this time. He was laughing at the end. Every weight he carried shrunk. Oh, that's bad. Rosa watched as life left Guillaume's body. It annoyed her that his face was con- <laughs> This is so bad. She's glad he's dead. Anyone who disrespects Mother deserves to die. What should I do now, Mother? Oh, I can choose nothing. Mother? Don't do this to me again. I can't choose anything else. Aren't you proud of me? Uh-oh, she's in tears. This is bad. She's gonna die. I do all that you ask. I'm nothing without you. Please talk to me. Why are you so cruel? What did I do? I'll... I'll change it. She's afraid of being alone. Just talk to her. Now that you got what you wanted, you leave me? Are you happy now? Oh, she's crying and sobbing. She doesn't want to be alone. Talk to her. She ran to Guillaume. Oh god, now because mom isn't there, she doesn't want to be left alone. She attempted to patch the wound on his chest, but there was no breath left in him. <sighs> if I give you my love, will it revive you? Oh my gosh, she wants to know if she can give it back. Oh god. She she kissed him to try to give him power. We're supposed to be the same. Why are you so fragile? Oh jeez. Mother's playing with me. Is this a game? Oh my gosh, she's totally lost it. Please, I don't want to be alone. Emptiness. Ending four mutation. <laughs> what happened there? Also, if you don't respond to her, she goes nuts and Guillaume carries her away and decides to use her as like a little love slave. So, um, fun endings there. I don't know what happened to the other recording. It was there. It disappeared, as did some of my audio. But that was amazing in a horrible, traumatizing way. <laughs> let me know what you thought of the alternate endings below. Like or comment. And let me know if you had gotten these endings. What do you think? Rough stuff. Anyway, have a good rest of the day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.